Hey everybody, it's Akaya's Van Gogh Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, a Wednesday upload. What a surprise. Today we are watching <laughs> Loki finale. Um, I know this is really weird because um, I obviously haven't been reacting to Loki, but we are reacting to the finale for all time, always, and yeah. Let me explain myself. So obviously, where ages ago, I did an update video and said I would not be reacting to Loki just because I wanted a break from doing, you know, usual uploads, but even just watching a show. Like, I've never been able to just sit down and relax and watch it. Okay, so I said that, but I never actually got the time to actually sit down and relax and watch it. So <laughs> today, as soon as I got home from uni, I binged every single episode of Loki and I wrote note a few notes down that I quickly want to go over before we jump into the finale just so I can run you up on what my thoughts are of the show and let me start off by saying this show is freaking incredible it's so good and I know we spoke about WandaVision being like the epitome of what's going to be an example of what Phase 4 is like. This is what Phase 4 is like. Like this is another level. It's on a big scale. And I thought WandaVision was a big scale, but no, this is a big scale. This is huge. And this is going to cause a um, lot of stuff happening. But let me talk about what I'm enjoying of the show as like, f like so far, which is literally every episode. So, ep like starting from the beginning, Mobius, <laughs> Owen Wilson. When I found out he was in Marvel, like in this show, I was like, Owen Wilson, really? Like, I'm not sure. Like, I I know like he's a big comedian and stuff. He's great and all, but I was like in Marvel, but he's been great. It's not been over the top. It's very like natural. So well done. Um and. Yeah, just that whole first episode with him, the interrogation scene, and just as well with Tom, Tom Hiddleston has been amazing in these, all these episodes, but like, in that episode, that, oh, just getting a replay of everything that's happened to Loki in the opposite timeline was really, really, like, sad and just emotional, but seeing this, like, seeing him watch it was even worse. What's her name? Uh, Ravana Slayer, like, Ren Slayer. Dude, I hate her. She's such a bitch. <laughs> I hate her so much and just, yeah, she's really, she's a great actress though. I love her so much. A theory I have about Sylvie is because, a, a, a amazing actress, she's so good as a variant Loki and just as herself as Sylvie. Now, me and my sister's boyfriend actually spoke about this because I said like people have sent me images and said there was another Loki and stuff and this was the female one and I found out what her name was and then I was like, I know exactly whose name that is and how enchanting connects to it and he's not going to watch my reaction so I can talk about it. I didn't want to ruin it for my sister's um, boyfriend just in case she does turn into this character. I think she's going to be the enchantress and later on in the MCU so she might turn back into an anti-hero um, because she is very much like Loki as well and I sort of like what they have done, a Loki variant because in the comics and in mythology of Loki, she gave, well, in Marvel mythology, not real mythology, don't go looking that up as history, kids. <laughs> but he gave powers to Enchantress. And so I was thinking, as a variant, she has those powers. And just like, oh, like I was like, dude, that that's awesome. Like that connects to it all. Like that has to be Enchantress, but it's just another version of her. And I was like, dude, I, sh I want it. It's so good. Also, it's canon that he is bisexual. Finally, thank the Lord. I know people are waiting for a bisexual like lover. So maybe Mobius might be that because they are pretty cute and I ship it as well. But um, yeah, it'll be sick to see wherever that goes. It's great that there is finally a proper LGBTQ IA plus character in this show. It's good to see that. And also just in the Marvel Universe. I hope we get to see proper representation in the future from here. Um, I'm trying to do this really quickly. Yeah, I didn't write much for- oh, the only thing I wrote about episode 5 was Richard E. Grant. Dude, I love that man so much. He's such a great actor and I've seen him again in so many things and he's just so good. And just the amount of like references to the comics in that episode was just like- I am being fed. Thank you. <laughs> it was so good. Um, but yeah, I've I, again. I love this show so much. Now, just to be quick, because I know we've been going like quite a while now, and we want to watch the reaction and watch the episode. Me watch the episode. You guys want to watch my reaction? But to talk about the main villain, I think it is Kang the Conqueror. You know why? Because in episode five, we saw the tower. People know what I'm talking about. 
And also just, it's been a long time. We've been waiting for this for so long. And me especially, I, that's why I was like talking to my sister's boyfriend again. And he was saying as well, he thinks it's Kang the Conqueror who might be behind this. And I was saying for me personally, I found him through reading Captain America because in the Captain America comic books, he also has beef with Steve because Steve messed up the timeline and went back in time. And then he was like, and then I think in the comic, his wife died or something. And he was like, I will have my revenge on Steve Rogers and goes after the Avengers. And um, it's just, yeah, that's how I got introduced to it. So I was like, oh my God. Like, even though it may not be connected to Steve because I thought maybe at the end of at like Endgame, that was the reason he comes after the Avengers, but obviously not, it might be because of Loki. But anyway, I think it's Kang, but we will see. So let's jump into this episode because I'm very excited. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh my god, dude, the amount of money that's been put into the F like VFX is so good. Dude, it has to be Kang. Who else will it be? Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Welcome to the city. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, yes, Mobius was going back. Oh, dude, Renslayer? I hate her. Is that a variant of him? Are we gonna see the real version of him? What did you do? What? Oh! Just wait. What the hell is going on here? The Fruit Slayer. Shit, proved it. I'm guessing we'll see her again. Just who are you? Oh, I've been dubbed many names by many people. <laughs> Say the name. A conqueror. Yeah. And then the timekeepers came along and saved us all. He's so good. There's two options. One, kill me and destroy all this. And you don't just have one devil, you have an infant amount. Or, you two, you two run the thing. You're lying. But now I have no idea. No oh, idea shit. where the rest of this is going to go. Oh. Loki. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh, Loki said no. Shit. Sort of cute though. I did like them together. <gasps> Shit! 
shit. I feel like this is just like the least powerful version of him, and then all the powerful versions are just gonna come and be like, hey! <laughs> oh shit. There it goes. Shit, oh my god. Millions of timelines. <laughs> oh, Loki. What are you talking about? What are you? What's your name? What? Who are you? Oh, shit. This isn't. Wait, is this a different TVA? <gasps> oh my god! Kang the Conqueror is coming! Shit! Oh my god! Sylvie really did it! Damn, I love that. Oh. Oh my god! It's season two! Luckily I went across that. Oh, there is gonna be a season two! Nice! I like that. That's sick. Oh my god, okay. Damn, that is a lot to take in. So, a lot of people were talking about this for ages. Um, hold on, I need to find his name just so I can say it properly. Because the guy who plays Kang the Conqueror... Is jo Jonathan? I said John, but I nearly got it. Jonathan Majors. He was in Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country. I loved that show, and I think he got picked up again by some studio. I can't remember, so I hope. But he is Kang the Conqueror. Like ages ago, people were saying like he had like an interview with Marvel, and people were like, "Oh my God, he's gonna be Kang the Conqueror or some other character," and he was like, "Nah," and Marvel was like, "Nah," but oh. Uh, like, this is, like, 100% the one rumor that I followed, and I was like, oh my god, please be Kang the Conqueror, because I love this actor so much. Ah, oh, he was incredible, but also I love that there was some geekiness to him, and he was, like, always, like, you know, like, on his feet. So much adrenaline to him. I love that, because usually we see Kang the Conqueror, and he's, like, this poised... Like, there's no flaw to him. He's very smart. Very much, like, obviously the one that we saw in this version. And, um... Just, oh, dude. So, literally, it's happened. Like, oh, I, oh, God, okay. Um, I didn't say this at the beginning, but I did love the fact that Loki and Sylvie had a bit of a thing. Like, I know it's different variations of themselves, but I thought it was pretty cute. Um, even though I did want him to sort of end up with Mobius because their friendship and just if they had a romance, that would have been really, really cute. But the fact that she's done this, like, I knew she was going to do it because. You know, there was no other way of it going because she was so hurt by the TVA that she was like, I'm going to kill whoever's at the end of the line. She doesn't care whether Loki, you know, like she does care for Loki, of course. I think he fell more for her than he she did for him. Um, and you see that sort of heartbreak at the very end. I will say that it was very like a lot different to what I expected. I expected like a big battle between like Kang the Conqueror and then, you know, but at the, like, I, I know people, I know fans are going to be like this and they're going to be like, oh my God, like this was so bad. Like there's no battle. There's no big finale. There's no big finish. There's no big fight. Nah, this was just the appetizer and we're going to get the the effects of this in the rest of the movies, in the rest of the shows, and I don't think, like, I'm trying to think, well, obviously this does take place during the endgame, um, well, in that occurrence of, like, the right timeline and stuff, but I'm trying to think if this happens, like, right after endgame, and this is what happens when, like, Wanda does her thing, and she opens maybe, like, the portal to chaos, or maybe, like, there's a, there's a, I spoke about it in one of my podcasts ages ago about the different sort of possible, like, um, dimensions she could open, not portals, sorry, dimensions of chaos, there was the nightmare dimension, and then there was something else, I can't remember, but there was different dimensions that she could possibly open, and then, yeah, just a whole lot of other stuff with the shows that happened, um, but, yeah, again, going back to the, like, the, 
I loved the core of this. It was questioning both Loki's, well, Sylvie and Loki, and questioning who would make that decision to just wait and listen. And even with Loki, he was, like, trying so hard. Like, there were so many moments where I was like, oh my god, he actually is going to, he wants that position of power, but no, he doesn't. And even with Sylvie, she doesn't want that position of power. She just wants to kill the person who took away her whole life. Oh, it's because of this event that there's going to be so much shit going down and the real Kang the Conqueror and obviously multiple versions of him into different timelines, it's because of that that's going to happen. So immediately already you see like when Loki comes back and the whole thing with Mobius and stuff, it's like, um, like it's happened already, like the statue's already there. Oh, it's so messed up, but it's so like... It's a warning to, like, us as an audience, like, this is the beginning, like, the real fight is coming in the next, next season, probably. And also, just, I love, again, the dialogue between Sylvie and Loki in this episode, like, again, at the beginning when she's like, I need to prepare for this, I've been waiting for this my whole life, and then towards the end of the fight, you know, he, Loki, Loki really pulled down all his walls and was, like, bearing himself to her, saying, you know, like, I have that feeling, I know what you feel. But even he was saying like, no, that's not what I want, but we have to think of the greater good, which is for everybody. And if we actually take control of this place, it will actually make sure that everyone's safe. Because, you know, he was saying like, I know a liar and he's not lying. Uh, because even I was like, wait, what if he is, I was so confused, I was like, what if he is lying? What, no, no, yeah, no, okay. So yeah, he wasn't lying and Loki was right, so. Oh, dude, I'm so nervous for what's going to happen. Not nervous, but I'm ready because so many things are going to happen. And, you know, again, it's building up. This is just the first step. Again, appetizer. The next step is going to be, you know, what's going to happen next. So obviously, Kang the Conqueror, has he been rumored to come into any of the movies yet? I don't think he's coming in Doctor Strange. Someone can fix me on that. But I don't think he's in that. There's, um, and then we've got the Ant-Man stuff happening. So all these different things are happening at once. And then... Oh, there's, there's some... Oh, yeah. Fantastic Four. So there's a lot of stuff to do with space. And there's a lot of time to do with time and realms and dimensions. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of stuff. And it's because of this moment. Um... And I love that. There's going to be so much to work off of for the future of Marvel, which is great. This is the pinnacle, 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 I can never speak English, pinnacle moment that's going to change everything in the Marvel Universe. And I'm so excited. The fact that they've already confirmed that there's going to be a season two, I'm so psyched. It's going to be so good. And I'm glad that they confirmed it here and now because now we can wait for it. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the final episode of Loki Season 1. And this is obviously episode 6, all time, always. Um, I will say as well, I do love that, again, I said this before, but I want to talk about it in more detail, that Jonathan was dressed as just, like, a plain human, like, geeky, and, you know, like, he, he had, like, all these... I don't know, there was some attribute that made him, like, geeky and sort of, like, excited for death because he- not excited, he was worried, but also he was like, something's coming, like, something bigger is coming, it's not just me, you know, like, as if excited, but almost as if anxious. So I loved the way he played that out, and again, I'm excited to see if there's going to be variations of the performance of the Conqueror. Um, Kang the Conqueror, <laughs> and if we're going to see that, whether it's, again, the poised one that we know from comics or even animation. I've watched the animation with him in it, and um, there's a lot of, like, ones where he's very poised and very in control and just, like, eh, he's very good. And Jonathan Majors can play a lot of roles, and I think he'll be good as Kang the Conqueror in the future episodes. Um, if we do see him next season, well, I'm guessing we will. Um, and if he's in the movies, it'll be cool to see all that play out. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Because <laughs> this, again, pivotal moment for Marvel. And I cannot wait to see the next steps that happen and where it takes us. And again, even I was thinking, like, not in this, because it's way too much of a big villain to introduce now. But Galactus, I think that's his name. Let me check. Yeah, Galactus, like, he also is huge. And, you know, it's almost nearly impossible to beat him. But he is... Awesome. And because of the fact that Fantastic Four is coming, it means that there is the possibility of him 
coming into the Marvel Universe. Not now, maybe in another 10 years or like down the line at least. So I'm excited for whenever that plays out. Because obviously, like, I don't think he's connected with Kang the Conqueror, but he also is very, like, space, time, it's controlling everything. So that'll be cool. And, ugh, my brain is fried. Um, I do want to talk about, again, Loki. Loki, oh, I can't stop talking about him because Tom Hiddleston, fantastic job throughout the whole series. Just because we've got to see such a range of him as Loki. Um, and as usual... God of Mischief, so many times we've seen him play like that, and we did see that play out a lot, him trying to get away, but then also getting entangled into this and being really involved and being like, oh, like really engrossed, and then seeing how much he opened his heart and showed how much he actually cares for people, and even in reality, at that last moment, he put his own, he could have put his own greed in front, not that Sylvie was greedy, it's just that she was in need of wanting to kill um, the Conqueror. It's sort of like, um, I think it was the previous episode, isn't this one? I can't remember because I've watched all the episodes, but, um, B-15, is it B-15? Yeah, B-15 says, um, she doesn't want, she needs this. And that's so true, Sylvie needs to kill Kang because, uh, again, her whole life has been taken away by him. And, like she said, and I was going to comment because there was a lot of dialogue, I just wanted to listen. Um, it's sort of like what when he was saying, like, you'll have a lifetime of memories. And she was like, but they were never... What was it? I can't remember what she said, but I was going to say, like, it's ne it hasn't been lived. It's just... Yeah, she said it was fictional. And I, I was going to say, she never lived those memories. It's just in her head. So she... Not that she'll know if it's real or not, but before that moment ever happening, she knows already that it's fiction and it's fake. And that's the thing, like, Loki has put a lot aside from what he used to be and has become this whole new person. And I love it because it's such a new um, concept for him because we have seen him as the villain, as the god of mischief all the time. And to see him like this is beautiful. And this sort of connects to what happened with Richard E. Grant's um, character as well. He was walking away from the battle and instead he came back and sacrificed himself so that they could get away and they could get that connection and enchant the beast um, Elioth for, for them and um, get them to pave the way towards Kang the Conqueror. So it is very scary and just terrifying to know. I'm terrified now what's going to happen, like whether it's going to be in the movies or if it's going to be like in more TV shows that happen, because obviously there are more TV shows. I'm not, I doubt it'll happen in She-Hulk or in Hawkeye. Uh, I think we might, we'll probably get a lot of stuff with Doctor Strange. Um, Spider-Man maybe, but more Spider-Man is more going to be probably focused on his story. Yeah, leave that one with me. I might think over that and we'll talk about it <laughs> before the next season of Loki. And Definitely with Loki season two, I will probably be reacting to it because oh, this show was so good and thoroughly enjoyed it. And I cannot wait for the future of Marvel. It's going to be amazing. But yeah, I got to stop now because otherwise I'm going to be sitting here talking for like another 10 hours about this because now my brain's just blown. But yeah, it's a lot <laughs> and I'm excited. But yeah, again, in the comments, in the comments, let me know your thoughts and if you're excited for what's going to happen because I'm super excited. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Casey Finger out. Woo!